Hello, it's Ruby and today I am moving back to university. Um, feels very strange to say because apart from a month, I have not been back properly at university since coronavirus started. Um, so it's gonna be very strange to go back and I am increasingly excited. Like three days ago, I was really quite nervous, but this morning and last night, I was just really excited to get back and I am looking forward to traveling back today. Um, there are a few bits I still haven't done. Um, I'm not entirely packed yet, which is kind of silly. Just got a few bits left. I am gonna miss this desk though, because you might know that in my university room, I don't have a window that's like, you can look out of, it's been glazed over. And so I really, really miss my view at home. Okay, I'm gonna pack my shoes. Packed up, ready to go to Exeter. Yeah, ready to go, Lola. So uh, we're going off in the camper van because mom and dad are going camping in Devon for a few days whilst um, like after dropping me off. There is. So much I've stuff. already got stuff in my uni house as well, but I did bring most of it back because I was at home pretty much the whole week last year. It's not too bad. I mean, yeah. remember it's our camping stuff too. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Here's mum. With Lola. Your travel companion. I mean, she's right next to the food oh bag. Yeah, that's true. That's such a dangerous idea. That's why she's sitting here, really. She was meant to go here. And the reason she's, she's there up. is because she knows the food bag is here. still very very messy but Blakeney and I have spent the morning planning like meals for next week and doing a big food shop in it and everything and now I've just got a few more bits left to unpack basically just my clothes also this is my bookshelf makeshift bookshelf um I do want to get a bookcase um and I need to find one I keep on saying I'm going to buy one and then I don't Thank you. 
So next Blakeney and I headed out. We wanted to do something fun for our first day back in the house together and booked to go to Clip and Climb, which is a rock climbing place down by the quay. The quay is honestly so nice here in Exeter. It just has such a nice atmosphere and today was actually surprisingly warm. The climbing walls were so much better than I was expecting. There were so many unique ones, including this clear one where you can see the person climbing on the other side. And there was also this one which spins, which I was not terribly good at, as you can see. Um, but hopefully we'll come back and by the end of the year, I will have managed to climb it. So well! <laughs> When we got back, we made some apple nachos for a snack, but I didn't film anything else that evening because we were basically just catching up. So here we are on the next day, which was mainly a study day. So we made porridge in the morning and Blakeney went to Scotland this summer and has got me into adding salt to the porridge to bring out the flavour, which is actually very good. So we're at the glare of my glasses. So today we're having a bit of a study day, but first I'm just quickly finishing editing a video and then gonna get started on doing some prep work for my first week of lectures. Now we're getting on to studying. I started by writing up a timetable. Then I read a commentary on Dorothy Lee's The Mother's Blessing, which we'd been set for my life and death module. I just annotated this on my iPad before writing up some notes. The Mother's Blessing is basically an early modern manual written from her mother to her three boys, but which was then widely published and used by other mothers as moral instruction. Next, I watched the lectures for my life and death module this week. We're doing parenthood this week and it's fascinating. One of the poems we're looking at is Ben Johnson's On My First Son, which he wrote for his son who died at the age of seven. We were thinking about how early modern texts deal with grief because in Puritan England, it was unvirtuous to grieve, but of course parents are going to grieve their children. Uh, it's cool to see how this is coded with parents either disguising or embracing their grief as we see in Johnson's poem. Next, I actually read The Mother's Blessing. I started by looking at the scans of this early volume. In particular, I was looking at the woodcuts. Publishers would often reuse woodcuts when publishing books since they were pretty expensive to make. And I'm not sure about this, but I was wondering if these same woodcuts might have been used in Bibles since many of them show biblical scenes. This would affect the way that we read The Mother's Blessing as a religious manual, of course. And then I read and annotated a reprint of The Mother's Blessing, just writing up notes on Notion as I was going along, but I didn't film all of this. Okay, so studying aside, in the afternoon, Blakely and I went into town. Our first stop was Waterstones, of course. Uh, there are always so many books I would happily buy, and you could easily spend hours upon hours upon hours in this Waterstones. We wandered around town a little bit too and went to the library for a little while to talk through some seminar questions for the life and death module again. We went out to town as you saw and we just did a quick study session in the library just chatting through some bits in preparation for our seminar on Monday. We were in there for like not very long like 45 minutes and we also spent a long time rousing water stones as per usual and now we're back got into pyjamas even though it's only six and we are going to make some waffles and watch a film and maybe do a little bit more um like discussion work for this seminar but it just depends on how we feel 
in the evening again we were chatting downstairs and we made these yogurt bowls after dinner which were delicious and watched the first episode of stranger things as well just to get into the autumnal mood so i hope that you enjoyed watching this video these first three days at university as usual as i do every year i'll be doing daily university vlogs for the first two weeks and so i will see you tomorrow with a new video and i hope that you have a productive week